That right there is called a caffeine shed, and that is a deadly, deadly lure this time of the year when you're trying to cover a lot of water and the bass are really on shad. You know, soft plastic jerk baits in general are something that a lot of anglers know can be very good. You know, I mean, you can fish them a lot of different ways, but one of the things that I really like to do with them is fish them extremely fast. You know, these, these fish here are looking for shad, and so having a bait that you can kind of trigger a reaction out of and cover a lot of water is important. So I fish this thing with a seven three to one reel and you know, I can jerk it and twitch it like a jerk bait, like a normal soft plastic jerk bait. I can reel it real fast and this caffeine shad just wiggles like a live bait fish in the water when you're fishing it like that. Or I can skip it out of the water and you know, you get a little wind like this, you get that hopping out of the water, it looks like a, a bait fish that's fleeing, it triggers those bass into biting. So, you know, it's just a really, really good technique that I catch a lot of fish with. It's one of my favorite uh, follow-up baits when I'm throwing a, you know, other top waters to have one of these ready because it has such great attracting qualities. So we're gonna go down this grass line see if we can get some bites. You know, I got a big grass flat here and I was, you know, started with a spinner bait, uh, you know, had a couple of bites there real quick. This is just a great bait to throw. You know, if you catch one on a, a crank bait, a shallow crank bait or a buzz bait or a spinner bait like that, or you miss one, you know, having one of these ready to go is a great tool because you can fish it at really any speed. You know, right now I'm, I'm searching for bass, so I'm covering a lot of water trying to make it look like a fleeing shad. But once I get an area where the, where the bass are at, I can do both of those things. I can work it real fast and then just kill it. Oh, one just blew up on it right there. So this bait is, is very unique um, from other soft plastic jerk baits in that it's, it's made of the perfect plastic. So it's really, really soft and then we load it with salt. And the difference is, is when you stop this bait, when you kill it, it sinks just like this. And we kind of designed this thing with a flat bottom and this kind of unique tail. So it, it kind of stays horizontal, but it quivers. It, it looks like a fluttering or a dying bait fish when you let it fall. Um, I've got this one right now rigged with a six aught hook, a little bit bigger hook. And the reason for that is it gives it a little more weight and allows me to, to, to get that bait moving real fast and have it sink just a little bit quicker. It's a must add grip pin. You can see once you get that grip pin in there, it's gonna lock it in. These are soft, so you wanna use a wide gap offset style hook, but with that little grip pin on there, it cannot slide down, you know, and it's ultra sharp. So this, this hook right here may seem like a little bit of overkill, but because I'm, I'm fishing such a, a big area like this and I wanna be able to kill that bait and, and have it sink into the holes in this grass, I like that little bit bigger hook for this presentation. You know, I'm throwing it on a seven and a half foot, you know, medium heavy action rod with a seven three to one reel and 17 pound fluorocarbon, at least 17. You know, there's a lot of grass out here. There's a lot of cover. You wanna have a, a strong outfit and strong line if you make a long cast and get a bite. This will really allow you to get a good hook set on those fish. So, you know, it's a, it's a fast pr uh, presentation and I'm just trying to make these fish react. You know, they're sitting out there. We've got high bright skies. Uh, they're really not actively feeding. I'm making them uh, react to this bait. So if I can get it skipping across the top of those waves and get it close to a bass, a lot of times he's just gonna, he's gonna come over there and blow up on it. And when you're fishing these baits, they always say speed kills. So, you know, a lot of times I'm gonna just reel it real fast, let it break the surface and then let it fall. And you can see, I mean, when it does that, it just has that quick glide to it. And that's what that little heavier hook does. It sinks horizontal, but it's still shimmying down. If, if, you, if you let the fish get too good a look at it, they just kind of shy away from it. So I'm just trying to make everything move real fast and get them, get them to react. That way they don't think about it, they just put it right in their mouth. 